Hi, in this lesson, I'm going to create, we're going to create this really cool image, simple image gallery. It's got three image thumbnails and um, one main image, but the beauty of it is the images are all circular, which gives it a kind of different look and feel. Um, as you can see, when I move over, it does that image swapping, but it's so, it's so nice and simple to make. And what we're going to use to do it before, the first image gallery we made, we used a table. This one we're going to use dibs. And then we're going to also um, try and get the images to be circular in shape. Okay, let's have a look how we go. So here goes. This is the one I made earlier. Now we're going to begin. So you need a file and a new, new HTML document. There you go. You've got your new document here. You should be on split view. view. I always find that if you can see the code, you can also, it helps you kind of um, um, repair anything or get it more accurate. Again, I'm going to try and lay a stage for the main page or the, and um, I usually like to put a little area in the middle called the wrapper, so we'll get to work straight away. Insert um, HTML div. It's at the insertion point. We're gonna have a new rule. It's an ID because there's one, and we're going to call this the wrapper. That's the area that's going to hold everything. Um, in this document, click OK. I'm going to give it a background of uh, black, as many of you find I do. Um, and make sure it is the color you want. I'm going to put it there. Fine. Click. And then I'm going to make it the usual width that we've been currently using recently, which is 1024 by um, 768, so that it doesn't scroll. And then to make it sit in the middle of the of the screen, I'm gonna change the margins, set, make sure it, same for all is ticked, and I'm gonna let it auto. So that basically puts a, a black area where we're gonna put this particular image gallery, right slap bang in the center of the page. So we need a div on the left hand side for the thumbnails and we need a div on the right hand side for the main area. So that's next and this is why I always like to have the code window open because you've got to make sure you're in the right place. Tr remove any text that came with the div and everything you do going forward from now on must be within the wrapper div. That's this area here. It must be within those, those div. So click and make sure your cursor is there and go back and go to insert. Um, again, it's a HTML div, you're inserting. We're going to have it about do, 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 um, a new rule, and it's an ID. This is going to be where the thumbnails are going, to, are going to be, so I'll call this thumbs. Make sure it's this document and click OK. Now, we're going to have um, a box, and the box is going to be... Now, this time, we, we know that we, we have a wrapper within which it, the, the thumb sits thumb area sits. So we're going to just use percentage this time. So we're going to use 25% of the area for this bit. And so change this to percentage. And the height, now the height of that area is going to be about 700 pixels because we know that the full length is 768. So we're going to say about 700 pixels from top to bottom. And we want it to float towards the left, which means it keeps towards the left. That's the first thing. So I'm going to keep it all black. So I'm not going to put a, I'll, I'll put a background of black just to match the one we already had and click OK. Thumbs, fine, click OK. So that's our area there. It's there, sitting there. And then we're going to delete that. So in readiness. Now in that area, we need about three boxes of 200 by 200. So what we're going to do now, inside this thumbs area, we're going to insert um, HTML, and it's going to be a div, and this time, and then new CSS rule, but this time we're going to use a class. Now the reason we're going to use a class this time is because we're going to have several of those areas on the page, and class allows you to identify similar areas and change them simultaneously if anything in their look and feel changes. So we'll call these ones, um, these are going to be the image, IMG thumb, image thumbs. So again, click OK. Now I'm going to define those areas. So the box is going to be 
a height of 200 pixels, um, sorry, a width of 200 pixels, a height of 200 pixels. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a margin above and below. So what we want to do is to take the same for all off in the margins area. So above it, we want to have a pixels of about 30 and below it so that, um, do we want it below? Let's just say above it, we want um, to shift it down 30 so that each of the boxes are spaced 30, 30 uh, from each other. And that means that they'll be kind of nicely spaced. We could put a smaller amount at the bottom saying 15 so that in total in between each one is going to be at about 45. So that is what we're doing there. Click OK. Image thumbs fine and click OK. So there's our first box. Um, it's too close to the edge so we might want to, like, to change the margin on the left hand side. So what I, if you want to change the style of a particular div then you need to click where the text is, just click the highlight off so that you're clicked within it like that, and then open up the property inspector, which is Windows Properties, go to CSS, and there you see the rule is there, image thumbs, and edit the rule. So what we want to do is give it a margin on the left-hand side. So go to the box and look at the margin on the left and give it a margin of 30 pixels so that it sits more neat slightly away from the border, the edge. Click OK, and there you go. It's sitting nicely in between the thumb area. So that's one. So what we want to do is click at the end, so you should be back in the code area here. Click at the end, oops, sorry. Click at the end of that particular first image thumb, and you want to insert another. So you go into, click, go back to the menu, click Insert, HTML, Div, and you want to insert another of that. Now that was a class. Now this is the beauty of the class. Once it's defined in one instance, it can simply be used again. So click class, the down arrow here, click image thumb, and simply click OK. And hey presto, you've got a second one. So the first thumb, the second thumb, and now the third one. Click at the end of the second one and repeat the process again. Go to insert, HTML, Div. It's a class object, so you go to the class, click the down arrow, click the image thumb, and click insert. So there you have my three three areas ready for my three thumbs. Three thumbs. Next, um, I want to put my images in here, and this is the beauty of it. So so far, what you've seen is I've got um, all my thumbs um, are here. Now, I actually want them to be curved. I actually want them to have to be circular. Now, I could actually define the area to be circular, or I could define the image to be circular. So what we'll do is, let's wait and see, and I think we'll work with the images being circular. So let's insert one image into the area. So go to the first div for image thumbs, click in it, and delete only the text that says, it says, content for class in thumbs goes here. Delete that. And make sure the cursor is flashing in between the two, the opening div for image thumbs and the closing div. And then go to insert image. Now what you're looking for is an image, your image that will be fit into the image thumbs. So I'm going to go into uh, maybe my documents and look for the first image. So we're looking for... It's either going to be in downloads or documents. I hope I've got one. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's try downloads. Right, so I'm looking for my first image. Let's say this one is 200 by 200. Click open. It's going to tell me, fine. The file you select, would you like to overwrite it? Let me just say yes. So there's my image. And it's square. So how on earth am I going to make my image circular? That's a good point. So this is where it's very important to have co to understand the code and to have the code window open. It's a we're going to use a style. So we're going to add a style so that all images that we put in here will have a will have a circular border. So go to the last style, the last curly bracket, and press enter. 
type in the words IMG, which is the tag normally used to describe an image, and you can see it here, IMG. Right, once you type in IMG, click on the curly brackets and press enter, and the property you're going to change is border dash um, ratio. No, border, yeah, border ratio is it? Border, oh, I've forgotten it. It's something border, border radius, right, border radius, not ratio, border radius, and you're going to make it 50%. Don't forget the semicolon at the end, and don't forget to close the curly brackets to end the style, style definition for that, prop, for that um, tag. So what I've done is here, basically from here to here, all this does is it makes any image within this page have a circular circular border. Let's see if it works. Okay, so I'm going to refresh this and um, let's see, move down to here. Now you may have, to, you may find you have to go into live to see if it works. So let's have a look. Let's switch to live view and there you go. One circular image. So any image I put on this page, because I've made, had made this definition here, means that any image, whether it's big or small, will have a circular image. So that's how you define it. So let's go back to design view and let's put the other images in. This is really cool. So again, what you need to do, move your properties out of the way. The next image thumbs, remove the words contents, go over here, delete it, and insert your image. Insert image, go and find out where your image is. So the next image I'm looking for De -de 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 -de. There's one there, click it, or if I'm putting it in order according to what we saw, then I'm probably most likely going to be using this one. Open. Just going to say the same thing. I've usually got them in there already. Oh, it's the same image. Nope, we need to replace that one. So let's delete that. Insert image. Just trying to find the right one for the right thing. De -de 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 there, let's that one. Open. Okay, and I need one more image. Now you notice there's square here. Let's just insert the last one again. Click on the third one. Image thumbs. Delete the text. Go to insert image. Grab the last 200 by 200 image. Let's see. There it is. Click open. Okay, and your three images are in. Now, you might want to say file, save, this is Galleria, Gallery dash two, save it in your site, and right now they still look square, don't they? So let's have a look in live view whether we've got the effect we wanted. So as you can see, you've got three beautiful circular images all sitting nicely in place. So what's left? Okay, come out of there. Go back into design view. Now, the thumbs begins here and it ends here. That's this area here in yellow that basically holds the thumbnails. So right about this area here, we want to put the main image that will change as we go over the thumbnails. So you want to click at the end of the thumbs div. So this is where the div starts and this is where it ends. So click at the end. And then you want to press enter and insert another div. So you want to insert, insert HTML and then div. Now, at the insertion point, yep, new rule. This is not a class one, this is an ID one. And this is going to be main thumb, main image. This is where your main image is going to go. So click OK. You want a box. Now, the other one took up 25%, so this width is going to be about 60%. 60% of the screen will be taken up by that, and we want it to have a height similar to the one before. So the height is going to be about 700 pixels. 700. But this time, this box, we want it to float to the right so that it's in its own area in its own space. Um, 
we also, I was going to say, we could get it to sit in, let's try that. Let's see if it will sit precisely in the middle by clicking auto margin. Same for must be checked and auto and see if it will sit in the, big, in the middle. So there you have it. You have a box there for the main image. So let's put in our first main image and remember we set a rule that all images should have a circular border. So we don't need to do anything more than delete the text, insert the image. The first image is going to be the big version of um, the um, concert lights. So we'll look through for that big version and they have to have been cropped to fit that size. So be aware of that. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Concept lights. There it is. And then click open. Yep. Oops. Cancel. I did that wrong. Sorry. I'll repeat that. There it is. So there is the image. Now let's just make sure everything is doing as it should be and that that image when viewed live will be circular. And there you go. Now as you can see we, we may want to put some padding on it but Later on, you can work with the padding around the box, but for now, let's leave that as it is. So that's the first image. So that completes the layout of the gallery. What we might want to play with is the main image and where it's sitting. It's a bit cramped. We want to give it some room on the left. So by clicking here, going to CSS in the property inspector and editing the rule. Uh, no, that's on image. Cancel. What's that? What did I call it? Main image. So why is that? Okay. Okay, we're still selecting the image. We want to just sit somewhere in between the divs. There it is. Edit rule. Go to the box. Now you may want to give the box, take, take off the auto and just delete it. And it's not doing us any good. So what we want to do is put a right margin take off the same for all and let's give it a right margin of about 30 so that it comes away from the edge a bit there you go so that pushes it this way a bit and now it looks a bit better we could also go back in and edit the rule box and give it a top margin of 30 as well because it's looking pretty close to the top click OK right so we've got things nicely sitted so that's how you've placed it so all that's left right now, so let's go back to the design view, is to do the image swapping behavior to ensure that when we go over this image, the right image pops up, over this image, the right image pops up. So click the first thumb image, make sure the behavior, go to windows and behavior to make sure the behaviors windows is showing. Click in the first area, select the behavior we're dealing with, which is on mouse over. What do we want to happen on mouse over? We want the image to swap. How do, which image is gonna swap? Uh, oh, hold on. Let's go back a bit, cancel. And uh, remove this behavior because we have forgotten one step. So in order for us to be able to set the image behavior, the behavior of each image, we need to give each image an ID. So click on the first image. Go into HTML, make sure you've clicked on the image, right? Here, this area here, we need to give it an ID. So we're going to call the first one thumb, oops, spell it real, thumb one. Click on the second image, make sure it's clicked, call it thumb two. And then click on the third image, make sure it's checked, and call it thumb three. You also have to click on the main image and give that an ID for main one. But once they are all, once they all have an ID for a um, label, you can now open your win your behavior window by going to window and behaviors, and you can attach the behavior. So what do we want on the first image? If the mouse goes over it, we want this image to show. So the behavior is on mouse over. What happens on mouse over? The behavior is swap the images. Which image are we swapping? We're swapping this main image. So we're swapping the main image, which is main one, 
And what do we swap it with? To swap it with um, the main the main image, which basically in this instance is itself, is itself a bigger version of itself. Click open. Would you like to overwrite? Yes. And then preloaded the image is fine, but remove restore on mouse out as we don't want the image to disappear once the mouse moves mouse moves away. Click OK. That's the first one done. Click the second image and do the same thing. So what is it we want? We want the behavior we're looking at is on mouse over. What do we want to happen? We want the images, the main image to swap. Which image? The main image. What's it swapping with? Well, it's swapping to the bigger version of this thumbnail. So we need to look for the bigger version of that hot hot. There it is. Click open. Remember to remove, remove the tick by restore images on mouse out so that when the mouse moves away, it doesn't disappear. Click OK. And then finally, on the last thumbnail, again, the behavior that we're looking at is on mouse over. Sorry, on mouse over. What do we want to occur? We want it to swap images. Which image? The main image. What's it's been swapped to? The bigger version of the third image, which is the guitar hands or something like that. So that one's in here. So we're looking for the guitar hands. Do, 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 do. The guitar hands, where are you? There, guitar hands. Click open. Fine. And remember to remove the restore images on mouse out so that when the mouse moves away, it doesn't click. Uh, it doesn't move it doesn't disappear and click OK so that's all our behaviors done and you can close the behavior window so now let's see what happens let's save well, let's have a look let's go to the live view right they're all circular nice see now on this one it's that on that one it's that and that and it's a beautiful effect it's a beautiful effect done in a simple way, but highly effective for a, um, an, uh, an image gallery. So on mouse over there, on mouse over there, on mouse over there. Hey presto. And all done with divs and images and behaviors. So I'd like you to try that and we'll meet in the next lesson. Thank you. Bye.